What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're gonna do some Pokey news. It's been a long time since we've done this. Uh, sorry for the delay. At this point, a lot of this information is kind of stale, but when I was trying to look at, you know, what's upcoming for the Pokemon TCG, uh, I feel like a lot of it was around this all all stars. <laughs> what was it called? Um, all tag all. That just sounds weird. Tag all source stars set is gonna be released in Japan soon. And so we're going to talk about some of the exciting things. This is kind of like a reprint set, but with some new stuff. So it's kind of a mixed different. It almost reminds me of Hidden Fates minus the whole shiny aspect, but they do have a lot of like new alternate art. So it is kind of familiar. Ugh, familiar. So we're going to talk about some of the new cards. There's some interesting mechanic comes into play. And then I want to give my thoughts about a reprint set. I feel like there's good chances going to be some mixed emotions about, oh, this is just like a cash grab thing. Uh, but I do think there are specific examples that, in my opinion, it kind of is just a good thing for the, especially on the competitive scene for things. So let's get into some of the new cards to start. We're going to go to PokeBeach.com uh, where I've been kind of looking at, look at this information by Water Pokemon Master. And we're going to start with some of the new cards. So let's take a look at this Wishy Washy GX. Wishy Washy decks are actually kind of cool. They're about, you know, just getting a bunch of Wishy Washies and then they just kind of stack with each other. I think the last one, it, having more Wishy Washies for the Wishy Washy GX gave it more HP, I think, and maybe made it stronger. But let's take a look. So. Basic type, 130 HP. Schooling Storm, 20x damage, 20 damage time for each Wishy Washy and Wishy Washy GX you have in play. I love cards like this. You know, there's different ways to get a bunch of stuff in your bench, but then once you're there, it's pretty cheap to do like 120 damage. Um, you know, there is still all, some good fire decks out there with Rushizard and Blacephalon. So this sounds like it's a very lightweight counter. 120 doesn't work very nicely when you need to get to that 270 mark but um you know this is still a really strong thing like even if they're one-shotting you you'll still win that race so wishy washy gx a pretty cool um card and then big catch gx look at the top top 12 cards at your deck and put any number of basic pokemon in there onto your bench um i feel like they do this a lot where the gx helps set up for the rest of the um the other attacks and Ah, uh, you know, that that's not bad. If you don't have anything to do on your first turn, just like, all right, well, let me set up, and the next turn I'll be using the Schooling Storm right away. Although, I think uh, you kind of want to design your deck so you don't need to use that, and you can kind of keep your GX attack in the bag for something else to win the match. And then, let's go to Flareon. This one is very interesting. So, we'll go with this attack first. Flamethrower, red and two colorless. 90 damage, discard energy. It's like a typical fire attack and not that strong but the ability is very unique uh attacks from your pokemon gx that evolve from eevee do 30 more damage so we've seen things like altaria and dnc that power up certain types of pokemon this one um i would say the downside is you have to evolve it but it basically powers up an evolution or a gx evolution i feel like that evolve clause is basically to me means all right well tag teams don't count so like um, Espeon Deoxys, this doesn't apply to it. Uh, but all the other evolutions, it would, provided that they're GX. Um, you know, I feel like there aren't too many good evolution GXs out there at the moment, but I really love this idea. Uh, it's a very cool mechanic where it's a buffer, but it's very specific, so very cool. And then Whimsicott, so this is another evolution Pokemon. Comes in at 70 HP, Gap Pocket, choose a card from your hand in the Lost Zone and put in the lost one, then draw three cards. And it's like, ooh, that doesn't sound that good. But when you think about it from the angle of, um, you know, add something to my lost zone, I do get some card draw. And this is a nine GX Pokemon, so maybe that's okay. I can get away with like doing one of those maybe for a match. Uh, but then basically the whole point of this comes into Lost March. And it's nice that it's a de double colors energy. So you can uh, kind of tech this into any kind of Lost March deck. If you're doing like a jump up kind of style kind of thing. Um, and then you have Lost March, 20x damage for each Pokemon in the Lost Zone. So, you know, whether this is better than just, you know, Nat 2 or Jump Pluff kind of style, uh, I'm not sure, but I love the idea of just adding 
you know, especially after, like, Lost Thunder was a long time ago, and who knows when we'll get this in English, but they're still building on those Lost March uh, archetypes, and I think that's really cool. Um, I don't like the idea of, like, oh, Lost March was pretty good, but didn't quite make the, you know, top tier, and they never improved upon it. Occasionally adding better stuff to it, I would very much prefer that. And, um, and then let's go through some of the reprints. So actually, uh, I don't think this came out in a sense, but we have the uh, Trevenant in uh, Dusk Noir. You got the Ig the buff, the baby Pokemon, and a bunch of other cool reprints. Zero Aura, very nice. Uh, the Mewtwo's, Mew Mewtwo, Reshizard. Um, I think this is Can't Take Damage from GX Pokemon. Uh, Dedene. See, so Dedene is a really good one in my opinion, and so is the Mewtwo. And we'll get into that. Ooh, Jirachi, another good one. So I feel like, um, I wonder if some people will be turned off by these kind of sets because it's like, you're not even adding, you're adding very little new to the game, but you're just trying to make money by reprinting the same cards. And it wouldn't surprise me if people took that opinion, but I very much want to disagree with them. And here's why. Let's go to TCG Player. So there's two cards we're going to be specific looking at that are really strong right now. Uh, and that is Mewtwo Mew GX. And let's just take a look at the prices. So this one's not terrible. So on the secondary market, you can pick them up for under $15. Um, but you know, when you need a number of copies at that point, like, you know, the deck can already be a little expensive. But basically, every single new printing and every new alternate art, in my opinion, will kind of basically give new options which is cool if you really want to swag your deck um, or you can just pick up the cheapest one and even if it's a reprint they maybe the reprint one is like ten dollars or something so then it makes playing the game much easier and then let's go to Tedene which is uh, the most expensive one this card is so pricey um, and with these reprints coming I think it's great for competitive players hopefully they'll drive down the prices uh, one thing that means to me is, all right, maybe I should sell <laughs> extra copies of something. I think I have like four of them, extra ones laying around. But yeah, just for a Dedenne GX uh, regular art, it costs almost $40 on the secondary market. That is crazy. And then, uh, of course, the alternate arts are also really cool. You know, if you want to spend, have that premium deck totally swagged out. Um, what's this set called? All Tag All Stars? That still sounds weird to me, but it brings a lot of cool. Oh man, look at this one. Whew, a golden Mewtwo Mew. I I really like gold cards. To be honest, I'm over the whole rainbow thing, and uh, like the hidden fates, the the guardians that are gold look amazing. And this thing is going to be very sought after, especially when you know that this card just came out in Unified Minds, and it's probably going to be you know the one of the strongest cards for a long time. Especially as long as we have any kind of ramp like Welder or stuff like that. It's just so versatile. Um, I'm guessing this is Erica's Hospitality. Looks very nice. Very cool. Another full art. Uh, I don't remember what Misty Lorelei does, but that's pretty cool. And then uh, of the Evolution, or the Dark Rye, and then the Espeon Deoxys one. This one looks okay. I'll say, you know, I'm a little disappointed for these alternates. They usually look amazing. Kind of like this one. This alternate art looks great, and it's kind of a used card. You usually have one of these in your Mewtwo Mew deck. I think it's for the GX attack. I think it's like you can space out, was it 10 damage? And it kind of just like, all right, well, let me pick up all these Pokemon really easily. So very cool alternate arts. And actually, it's unconfirmed what this does, but this Dolteon has another kind of buff your evolutions. I love that idea. Let's keep going. Oh, man, they... So, this thing, there's like a new uh, box that you can already pre-order for where we have the English version of this evolution with the evolution DNA, I think it's called. But then this did DNA GX. So like not only will they reprint it, but they add an awesome new alternate art that if you really want to swag your deck out. And that alternate art is amazing. <laughs> like this thing is just almost too derpy for me, but this is just straight cute. I love it. So Dedenne GX alternate art is amazing, A++. And um, then the last one is Wretch Challenge, you know, 
I don't think this is a very good card. I think there's just better ways to do things and Fred's uh, challenge. But then Sightseer, to be honest, like when I first saw this, I wasn't even sure, like, what does Sightseer even do? Is it pretty, is it good? And the card's actually not bad. I don't see it used very often, but especially things like, you know, with Mewtwo Mew, where you want things in the discard pile so that Mewtwo can, uh, Mewtwo Mew can use the abilities, this card's actually pretty useful. Like, I feel like, obviously the downside is that you only draw uh, up to five, but as a convenient way to get stuff in your discard pile, this card is actually not bad. So, uh, to kind of like sum up, you know, that the tag also, I can't remember that for some reason, you know, there's a lot of cool cards, reprints, yes, but not only there's new, very cool, exciting mechanics and awesome new um, alternate arts, and I kind of see this set as it's very kind of catered to nicely for competitive play it'll drive some prices down and there's like no like almost um very little motivation to make a complete set you know i feel like this is a set that yeah you can do some openings but it's very much for pick up the singles you want because it'll make prices go down in general so uh that's just my current thoughts on the tag all stars um I'm kind of excited for it being English. Some of these alternate arts look amazing. Definitely the one I'm most excited about is this guy. Oh, that is so cute. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. As always, let me know what your thoughts are down below. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.